What's up guys? It's finally the time the time has finally come. This is what you all have been waiting for and been begging me to make. The full phone collection video. Uh, you can see my and you can already hear them going off. You can see my rotary phone, but I'm just gonna do a quick reveal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So many phones. So I'm gonna say it right out. I was hiding the number until now. I had an estimate, but turns out it was wrong. It was a little short of what I actually have. You are seeing in front of you 342 different devices, whether that be phones, tablets, laptops, and cameras. I actually have a few. I actually miscounted. I just realized I, there's the cameras right there. So yeah, instead that would be around 346. So yeah, I completely forgot about those cameras. But I do not want to make this a feature length film like most of the other ones have, because like, most people do not have two hours to sit and watch a single YouTube video about just showing you a bunch of phones, so I'm going to go through this really quickly. And as you've noticed, most of them have just stayed on. In fact, I can't do it as cool as I can with the pictures, but shut it off. That looks awesome. So let's sit there for like a second or so. Yeah. Alright, so let's get into it. And I have like no room to step over here either, so yeah. I'll show a few main ones. Like, for instance, that's my, that's the blue phone, that's my main phone, actually, which I'll pick up and show. Yep, there it is. Do not want to show my pin. Yep, there's my main phone here. Oh, I need to focus that. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. My main phone. This is what I record all my videos with. We got ZTE, 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 LG's, um, what's that? That's an a Samsung A20 that does not work. The screen's busted on it. That's another ZTE. My crown jewel of the collection, if I can reach it. Oh, yep, my S9 Plus. This is my, the best phone in my entire collection besides, you know, of course, the, what is it? My main phone. Ooh, wants me to do the iris scanner thing. No, thank you. Yep, there it is in all its beauty. This thing was once destroyed and now was restored and it has a new chance of life and is unlocked and everything. Love it. Yeah, I'm only showing a select few because I don't need all of them. To, like just be shown in great detail. iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, another iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus. Those are what these are. Can I zoom this? This is not my camera again, so I really don't know how to use this, but... Ah... Uh, yeah, no, I have no idea how to do that, so oh well. Pink iPhone 7 Plus. Stand up a little bit. Oh my goodness. There's an LG Stylo. There's an LG G3. Actually, no, that's a G Vista, my bad. Note 5. Can I turn those on? All these. You can see them working. Some of them don't have charged batteries, which is no batteries at all. Note 5, Note 3, Note 3, Note 3, Note 3, many Note 3s. G Stylo, the original one. Galaxy S7. The one that has a literal hole in the screen yet somehow still works. I'll focus that. Oops. I'll turn it on so it doesn't shut off. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's a literal hole in the screen and it somehow still works. Incredible. Nope, do not open Instagram. Um, oops. There's an Alcatel Re Rebel, or whatever it's called, that does not work anymore. ZTE. I did not say open Instagram. What are you doing? Many destroyed phones. LG. Many LG Fortunes. Two Moto E4s. Galaxy on 5. That does not work. LG Fortune. Actually, no, it's not LG Fortune. That's an LG Tribute HD. Google Pixel. I need to get a new screen for it. Destroyed Galaxy S7. Two Galaxy S5s. Can I... Maybe turn these on. Yeah, I can. You can see them working. S6 Active with a dead motherboard. Windows phones and S3. Try and go into the third section. I cannot explain enough how hard this is to do because it's so cramped. Okay. Over here now. My This was another old main of mine. A Nexus 5X I got at Target bin. It just stays on the Google logo now. It's completely dead. Oh, this is just a Moto E5 Play. That's another S7, I believe. Or wait, no, 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 I'm wrong. This is an S6, yep. Yeah, S6. I got this from 
Murphy123, who actually no longer has a YouTube channel. He deleted his YouTube channel or deactivated it, whatever, same thing. So rest in peace to him, I guess. I mean, he's not dead, but his channel's dead. Oh well, his trades were nice, at least. My many Moto Droid Turbos, I think they're called. I don't freaking know, that one does not have a working battery, I remember. All those, and as you can see, I went through the livery to make all these have the same wallpaper. HTC, Galaxy um, J2, S4, various S4s with dead AMOLEDs, 6S, 6S, a 7, move around over here again. Completely destroyed, like this thing is just hurts to look at and actually hurts to hold. Completely destroyed iPhone 7, it's pink. Rose gold, I mean, frame's in really bad shape. If I were to fix this, I need to get a new frame and everything for it. And it's my club box, so I don't care enough to really do that for a while. Maybe in the very, very far future. Oh, this one's doing all kinds of stupid stuff. You keep hearing them buzz. iPhone 8, iCloud unlocked. Also, my, it's probably my second best phone in the collection. Really nice. Nokia Windows phone, dumb. I don't care about Windows phones. What's this? Oh, this is my Verizon S3. You kind of get a reflection of the camera I'm using. It's some Sony one. LG Nexus 5 I got recently. Another recent find that I'm very proud of. Of this phone. Super nice. Galaxy J1s. Both of those work fine. No! Why does Instagram keep sleep opening? That's so stupid. Focus that. And there's also a J1. There's no screen on it. Um, oh, this isn't on. Oh my god, why does Instagram keep opening? See, this is a struggle, guys. Oh, yep. What's this? I'm trying to be as fast as possible as you can probably tell, because, I mean, my old, my other two phone finds video, no, phone phones, full collection videos were absolutely ridiculous in length, but yeah, this is a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Nice phone, old, kind of slow, but what would you expect from 2012? I like it. Oops, I didn't mean to turn that off. I'd like to keep that on, actually. Weird ZTE that like, is such so new, but I cannot find... Actually, no, I'm wrong. This is the... That's the one right there. This is just a ZTE Majesty Pro Plus. Oops. This is the fabled Obama phone. Yeah. My many Casio GZ1 or G-Zone or G's ones, whatever you want to call them. I like G-Zones. That's just what I'm going to say. Which one has charge? Not that one. Ah, it's this one. Yep, Casio G Zone. Really cool phone. These are pretty uncommon, actually. These are like even in really bad shape. I feel like these for quite a lot of money. But hey, I, I like this one a lot. It has some unique apps on it. Very cool phones. I'm glad to have them. Got these in like 2019. Like the first huge explosion of like Verizon phones. I will show what I, I actually did go to Target today, and I will show what I found. The many, many iPhone 4s, like, spans from there all the way, starting here, all that, to there. Those are all iPhone 4s, such 4s. These are basically the same phone, except, you know, slight difference. This is what I found today, actually. I got another iPhone 4. This one was originally, like, the bad, bloated, so badly bloated battery. Broke my ankle there. Oops. Many 3G slash 3GSs as well. What else we got? What else we got? First gen iPod Touch. I believe this is the first gen. Yep, this is the first gen I have. I believe. I, I think. This will probably be able to tell. Just play a sound. Settings here. Yep, this is the first gen because it has a literal beeper in it. Just listen to that. <laughs> Funny. My two Galaxy S3 Minis that are very different for some reason. This is an international one that's white, and this is a one on Rogers. They're not compatible with one another. They may look very similar, but they do not take the same batteries at all. And this one's battery is shot, so I can't use it anymore. For now, at least. And then there's the cousin to this that those phones. The Galaxy Lite. Yep, pretty cool. Actually, the exact same size as those two. First ever Motorola Droid. Oh, and it has charge too. Turn that on here. I said turn that on here. Yep, 
There it is. This is the first Motorola Droid ever made. Well, not the first one ever made, ever, but this is the first one in the Droid series. So basically, the first like good Android phone. And it's a slider phone too. Look at that. So, so cool. Oh, oopsie. I'm going through this way quicker than usual, which is great because I don't like making feature-length films about phones, believe it or not. Oh, mount that. I'm kind of like mounting the camera on a dumb phone. That's not exactly ideal. Some cool ones, as you can see. Boxes. I actually got another find. This, um, I'll show that after the Brown S3. Brown S3 I got for brand new condition for a whopping $8. Super happy about this phone. Couldn't really set it up. Didn't bother with the fake apps like I usually do on the older phones. Because that's the thing. Like, if it looks like I have uh, newer apps that aren't supported on old phones, it's just fake apps with um, the, my icon pack in the launcher. Very clever. Another new find, actually. This is, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a fancy Samsung, like, touchscreen dumb phone that, like, has... Can't really focus it too well. Oh. Yeah, that's the best I can get. Has some really cool features for the time. Even has a ha haptic feedback thing. Yeah, this was made in like 2008, I believe, but it's super unique. I really like this phone. I haven't been able to mess with it much, actually. Um, ah, there we go. Yeah. I'll show this in more detail in a phone finds video, but that's because this is not what it's for. But yeah, this thing was only sold in like Hong Kong, I think, but I do have the box for it, as you can see, right there. And this is my LG KM30 380T, another phone that is not sold here, like at all. Yeah, this works perfectly fine. Yeah, it's a cool dumb phone. Close that. You can hear the iPhones freaking out. Many, many, many dumb phones, like the Sonyms. I actually run Android. This one's entertaining because, as you can see, it actually has some apps on it. Like, I don't know where they saved. Yeah, like it has YouTube and Telegram and uh, Dis Discord on the dumb phone, folks. Just look at this. I actually need to proof, proof like to check this first. Yep, it was going to be something weird. Oh, wait, never mind. It kind of works, actually. It's incredible. Yep. Android apps on it, but it's basically a dumb phone running Android. Pretty freaking neat. Other cool things that I have to show that like, have, should get their own attention. Nokia phone. Nokia brick, rather. Of course, this is special. Manual focus in a video is not exactly fun. Nope, one of them is dying. Yeah, these are always fun to use because they're just cool and everything. They have games on them. Yep. Games. Where is Snake? Where is Snake? Snake battery on here. There is no Snake. Scorn. Many KaiOS dump phones, or just KaiOS phones in general. Um, many Blackberries too, and I actually may as well mention, that's a, that red laptop is another find. I actually got that out of the bin today. Amazing. It unfortunately has a cracked screen. I don't have a battery for it or a charger, but I might get it to work. It's specs are just kind of crappy. Oh, and speaking of laptops, you probably noticed my Asus EPC, which works perfectly fine. Come on, do stuff. Must have went to sleep mode. Yep. Yep, it is a Windows XP netbook, as you can clearly see. Pretty awesome. I got this out of the freaking target bin and it works totally fine. Great for, you know, retro uses and programs that aren't supported and I can't just use a VM for because VMs aren't entirely accurate. Some people fail to realize that. Another cool dumb phone. My LG Exalt. This one's mainly cool because of this. Yeah. I love that. Really old Motorola's. Like this, I forget what this is called, but it's really old. It's from like year 2000 or something, I don't know. Maybe in 2001, I don't know, but it's an old phone, that's for sure. Oops. You see there? Game Boy-like screen. That's the best I can get it. So smooth. Yeah. What else, what else? 
This one just makes cool sounds. It's the Samsung PSGH P207. So extra, but I love it. And Samsung loves their cubes. Oh, it was showing cubes. Um, oh, I should actually open that back up. Oh my goodness. Oh, what other phones do I have to show? Getting near the end of the video almost. Two LG dumb phones, and this one in classic LG fashion is boot looping. Why wouldn't it be? As you can see. I um, apologize for the, the, all the iPhones freaking out in the background. Various laptop phones, and I cannot, you know, can never forget about this. The race, the literal race car phone. As you can see here, many, multiple people have asked me to, if they could buy this phone, and like, if it were, if I, if, if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to keep it, yes, but I really like this phone because it's super cool looking, and you can't even use it anymore because it's on the carrier that doesn't exist, but yeah. Really cool phone. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it to charge. Focus that. Nextel Cup Series. This thing's from like 2003. All the many rugged Kyocera phones, including the Android run. One. My bad. I need to focus on this laptop phone some more. Yep, laptop dumb phones are pretty neat, I admit. Oops. If that's someone's phone number, I apologize, but I doubt it. Um. Oh yeah, I should definitely mention this. The T309 because, I mean, this phone does not work anymore. The battery's totally shot and the speaker's broken, but its sound chip has, is FM synth-based. If you don't know what that is, think Genesis music, except on steroids, because that one is, like, super advanced. It's really cool. Yeah, the general sound is, like, Genesis music. But, yeah, I mean, we're up kind of close to the 20-minute mark, so I'm going to... I'm going to send it off here, just get, a, like, a quick final look of all the phones. I mean, I apologize if your favorite phone was not shown in great detail because I mean I don't want to rush actually no I'll show one more Nokia or a few more phones I need to focus this I can't really do it it's hard to do one-handed this Nokia brick unfortunately does not work but it looks super cool because of the color this dumb phone's unique because slide it that way and also slide it that way I forget what it's called though any other cool f smartphones I can show I mean can't forget about the T-Mobile Sidekick. Oops. Can't forget about this phone, of course, the T-Mobile Sidekick 2. Can I do this one-handed? Yes, like, oh, almost got it. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, really neat. I need to get a charger for that thing, like, very soon, because I don't have one. <laughs> it's so hard to do one-handed while holding a tripod. I don't want to drop a camera that's not mine. Which, yeah, I think that's all I really, oh, I almost tripped on my rotary phone. I think that's all I really need to show, so yeah. Just get a final look at this and then end the video. So yeah. Get one last shot. Oh, can't even fit them all on the camera. Yep, those are all of my phones. That's the full phone collection, and it's probably my shortest video yet, but not the short. Not because I don't have many phones, I just wanted to get this over with, and. I don't want to, like, again, I don't want to make many more feature-length films because if I were to do that, the video would be, like, three hours long. But yeah, I should mention again, those are 340. Actually, no, because of the new number. No, I'm, I'm still wrong. There's one phone that is not shown in this, another iPhone 7 Plus. I accidentally left it in my other house. So there's 347 devices in total, but there's, like, 342 directly in front of you. And honorable mentions would have to go to Galaxy Note 8, which I sold, and a Moto X2, which I gave away, and... I think there's one other phone but I do not remember. Some Moto, I think. But yeah, that is it for this video. I know you guys have been asking this for a while. Just, yeah, I mean, do this every April. The next one will come April 2022. So yeah, that's it for though. Bye-bye.